नाउ फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम इफ लैमडा एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स वाई प्लस नाइन वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व वाई प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल जीरो रिप्रेजेंट्स ए पेयर ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन्स देन फाइंड लैमडा आर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट लैमडा फर्स्ट ऑप्शन माइनस थ्री सेकेंड ऑप्शन माइनस फोर थर्ड ऑप्शन वन फोर्थ ऑप्शन फाइव यू सी दिस प्रॉब्लम वेरी इजिली वी कैन क्रॉक दिस प्रॉब्लम विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ओके इट्स वेरी वेरी सिंपल सो फर्स्ट कंपेयर द गिवेन इक्वेशन विथ ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एच एक्स वाई प्लस बी वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू जी एक्स प्लस टू एफ फाइव प्लस सी इज इक्वल जीरो ओके नाउ वी गेट ए बी सी एंड एफ जी एच वैल्यूज here a is lambda b means x square coefficient 9 and c means constant 3 and x y coefficient is h 2h is 6 so h 3 this is 2g is equal to 4 g is 2 2f is equal to 12 and f is equal to 6 now you can apply shortcut a b c f g h f g h so now a b c lambda 9 3 <laughs> hgh 6 2 3 6 2 3 now remember this shortcut this is very very important sum of the product of the elements of the rows is equal to sum of the product of the elements of the columns so 27 lambda 27 lambda plus 36 plus 36 is equal to 36 lambda plus 36 plus 27 This thirty six thirty six gets cancelled. So thirty six lambda minus twenty seven lambda is equal to thirty six minus twenty seven. This is nine lambda is equal to nine. Lambda is equal to one. See, very simple. So which is the right option now? Third one is the right option. Fifth problem. If the equation 4xy plus 2x plus 2fy plus 3 is equal to zero represents a pair of lines, then f is equal to first option four, second option three, third option two, fourth option one. Since it represents a pair of straight lines, I already discussed you ABC plus 2fgh minus AF square minus BG square minus C square must be zero. you know that if you substitute the respective values it takes lot of time so in order to save i already explained very 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 beautiful shortcut it's very useful shortcut let us apply the same shortcut to this problem also shall we apply yes let us apply that shortcut formula here in this problem first let us write a value x square coefficient is absent zero b value y square coefficient absent 0 constant is present 3 c is equal to 3 this is 2h 2h is equal to 4 and h is 2 here 2g is equal to 2 g is equal to 1 2f is equal to 2f only so f is f only this is unknown value now shortcut so always remember this shortcut a b c f g h f g s so a b c f g h f g h so what is a b c 0 0 3 f 1 2 f 1 2 you know that sum of the product of the elements of the rows is equal to sum of the elements of the sum of the product of the elements of the columns so that means 0 plus 2f plus 2f 
is equal to f here 0 into something 0, 0 into something 0, 3 into 2 6, 12. So, 4 f is equal to 12, it is very simple. Now, f is equal to 12 by 4, 3, which is the right option? Yes, second one is the right option. Have you followed? If a x square plus 6 x y minus b y square minus 10 x plus 10 y minus 6 is equal to 0 represents a pair of perpendicular lines, then modulus of a, first option 2, second option 4, third option 1, fourth option 3. So, that means the numerical value of a is to be determined in this problem. If they represents pair of perpendicular lines, pair of lines as well as perpendicular lines. So, pair of perpendicular lines means here it has to be satisfied two conditions. The first condition is the coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square must be 0. So, that means actually here a minus b is equal to 0, a is equal to b. So, both are equal x square coefficient and y square coefficient are not equal actually here, they are numerically equal but opposite in sign. Okay, do you agree with me? That means, a is equal to or we can say that a min plus of minus b, a minus b is equal to 0, a is equal to b that is all. Okay, next represents pair of lines a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus a square is equal to 0, this is very lengthy. So, that we have the shortcut we can apply. So, okay, let us see the hint here a for a here b for minus b c for minus 6 and next 2 h is 6 h is 3 2 g is minus 10, g is minus 5, 2 f is 10, f is 5. Since they are perpendicular, since they are perpendicular, so a minus b is equal to 0, that means a is equal to b or b is equal to a, we can write. Now, shortcut, let us apply a b c f g h, just alphabets we have to remember, that is all, f g h, a, a write down, b, b is equal to, you can write here a, c, c stands for minus 6, and next f stands for 5 minus 5 3 again same we have to write 5 minus 5 3 same rule already we have discussed just product you find out minus 6 a square minus 75 minus 75 25 a plus 25 a minus 54. Okay. This is minus 6 a square minus 25 a minus 150 plus 54 is equal to 0. Okay. Correct. This is 25 a 25 a 50 a this is this is 50 a minus 6 a square minus 50 a uh, 150 minus 54 this is 4 6 96 am i correct 96 okay but minus 96 take minus 6 common not minus 6 better you take uh, minus 2 common, you get 3 a square 
प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव ए प्लस फोर्टी एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो थ्री ए स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव ए प्लस फोर्टी एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन नाउ फोर्टी Twenty four, one forty four, sixteen into nine. So three a square minus nine a, sorry plus nine a plus sixteen a plus forty eight is equal to zero. Okay, we have to solve it. See this, we can write three a common a plus three plus sixteen common a plus three. Equal to zero. We get a plus three into three a plus sixteen is equal to zero. So that means a is equal to minus three. A is equal to minus sixteen by three. See the options. In the options, actually we don't have the any fractional values, so we can neglect it. But we have to find out the modulus of a. That means three. So. Fourth option will be the right option.